Hi, Misha here, and it's time for another Gun of the Day episode. And this one really was at random. I wasn't even planning on it, but I happened to just lay my hand on it and thought, yeah, this would make actually a pretty good one for this little mini-series where I just grab random guns that I own personally and talk a bit about them. Basically just to spend time with you guys during this COVID stuff. And today, I have my Walther PPS. And this is the original M1 classic, what have you. But of course, when I bought it, that's what they had. In this series, I've more or less looked at older guns. But I'm also always been a big fan of Walther's. And when these were first announced in 2000. Seven, I was pretty excited. Also, I was in Germany. Specifically, Ohm, Germany. <laughs> but of course, I couldn't buy one there. So I had to wait till the PPS came to America, which luckily wasn't that long. By December, I had one in my hands. Now, it wasn't this one, because my original one, which worked great, even though some of the first generations were known for having a small issue with the little thing. Uh, where is it at on these? The little slide stop could have a little bit of an issue with the spring, which uh, Walther fixed quickly. But anyway, my cousin was needing a good little carry gun, and so I sold him my initial one. Because at that time, 2008, I was leaving the country again, so I knew I wouldn't need it. He did, and I knew I could always just pick up another one. Luckily... When I got back around 2010, CDNN had these really cheap. And back when I first got these, they only came with the two mags. Later ones had all three size. You had a six round. And by the way, mine is 9 by 19 NATO Parabellum. Because I'm not a heathen and I don't do 40. So yeah, you got the, the flush fit six. You can put in the slightly extended 7 which kind of gives a grip length like a Glock 19 or you can put in the 8 round which gives a full size grip like a P99 and that's what this really was it was a single stack slim P99 compact with an even slightly shorter barrel and option for the short grip. The Gen 1 still had quick removable back straps. They came with the small and a large metal sights, either glow in the dark or dot. Had a short rail under the muzzle. Typical locked breech. The first gen has the German style paddle release. Does have an external slide release. No, uh, no safety otherwise. No front serrations. This probably doesn't look all that special in 2020. But in, tw in 2007, Walther was one of the very first companies to offer... A modern striker fired full power, so 9mm or 40 Smith and Wesson carry slim line, you know, under an inch thick CCW handgun. They really set the trend. Guns like the Smith and Wesson MP Shield, the various small Glocks like the 42 43, those all came later. This was to market long before. 
and PPS basically just stands for Police Pistol Slim. So, yeah, by today's standards, it's nothing too unique, and they've even come out with the PPS M2, which is more American and, and all that. But back in 2007, this was a pretty cool gun, because about the only things this small, slim, were guns in 32 380. And the interchangeable mags were nice too because if you wanted a full grip for the extra capacity or just for target shooting to practice, you had that. But if you wanted the short grip for best carry, the six rounder definitely gives you that Glock 26 grip size, but yeah, it just under an inch thick. So very slim gun. But still pretty ergonomic and comfortable. And of course it has the, the, the little tit type thing on the trigger for safety. And it's just your typical striker fired gun. It does use the dual recoil spring in the front like a Glock. Although I should really say the Glock is more like that. So yeah, I've had two of these in my life. One I owned for about a year, then traded it off to a family member. And when I came back to the States, I uh, picked up this one here, which I have to this day. And uh, while I, you know, have a PPS M2, I really like the paddle mag release. And it brings back fond memories of uh, how excited I was to get this gun. Because it was something new from Walther. And while this, of course, is sold on the civilian market, Walther did market it towards law enforcement and other professionals. So they, they tried to build it to a high-quality standard, which was great because really at that time, many of the carry guns you would come across out in the wild were made by kel -Tec. Later, Kahar would start to do more and more, but yeah, kel was what you saw before that. And price point-wise, back then, even today, these are very fairly priced, right in line with the Glock or Smith & Wesson. Anyone else uh, still have a PPS? Especially a M1 Classic? Or am I the only dinosaur? <laughs> but uh, it's just been a good gun for me. And uh, it just really fits my hand well. The Walther grip styles always have. Hope you're enjoying this uh, Gun of the Day series. Like to talk about anything you'd like in the comments below. If you could, like, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please check out the link to our Patreon page. With that, I'll let you go for now. This is Misha. Catch you very soon next time.